I'd like to call the 13th regular meeting of the 2017-2018 Common Council to order. Will the clerk, will we have uh, uh, Meredith De Bruyne here, our deputy clerk, and she's going to be running the meeting this evening, and I'd like to ask her to read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mayor. Skill in the art of communication is crucial to any leader's success. They can accomplish nothing unless they can communicate effectively. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are 14 present. Uh, Alderpersons Mary Lynn Donahue and Rosemary Trester are both excused, and Alderperson Lee Wendelski is joining us remotely. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Oops. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Next, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes from our last Common Council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a, a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none. Pardon? We need to make the correction on the minutes. <clears throat> There's a sheet there. Okay. Um, Mayor, I need to make a correction to the minutes. And could you describe that correction? Yes, a correction to the minutes. Uh, the Boy Scouts uh, were from Holy Name and St. Clement uh, Churches, um, not Holy Family. Holy Family was the name of the school that closed and became St. Elizabeth and Secton School. I have a second to the, those, that correction? Second. Okay, we, um, is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the correction signify by saying aye. 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 And then uh, we'll move to Aye. we'll move to approve those. Uh, we have a motion to approve those now as corrected. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Uh, next will be confirmation of mayor's appointments to the King Park Neighborhood Association. City Attorney. So the mayor hereby submits the following appointments for your consideration to the mayor's neighborhood leadership cabinet from the King Park Neighborhood Association. Scott Hansen as the primary, Graziella Perella as the alternate uh, for terms expiring April 30, 2018. Thank you very much. All the person Wolf. Move to confirm. Move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 I'm sorry, we're going to have to call the roll on that one. It sounded like it'd be unanimous to me, but. <laughs> Older person Lewandowski, your vote, please. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to the election uh, for a position on the Board of Water Commissioners. That um, we're now open for nominations. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I move to nom the, that nominations be received from the floor. Voting to be done uh, by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives the majority. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, under nominations, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I nominate Ray Hine uh, for the position of Board of, of Waterworks Commissioner. Second. Thank you for that uh, second. Okay, Alder uh, Ray Hain is not here this evening, but he's uh, sent his letter and his, uh, his description of his uh, background to the city clerk. He's served in this position for well over a decade, and I'd um, ask the Alderperson Wolf if there's any other nominations. Thank you, Mayor. I move to close the nominations and direct, uh, and direct the city clerk to cast the unanimous ballot for Ray Hain. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Ray Hain in continuing his service on the Board of Water Works Commissioners. Next, we'll move on to the public forum. There is no one tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, going on to Mayor's announcements, um, as we uh, noticed before, the King Park Neighborhood Association has now been formed and accepted, and we have uh, some, um, uh, some officers and now delegates to the Mayor's Neighborhood Leadership Cabinet all formed. Uh, Grazia Perella is, is with us this evening uh, from the neighborhood, so thank you very much for being here tonight. And we've got to give a, a, a big uh, thank you to Penny Weber. She's uh, leading the Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride, and she's worked uh, with, uh, with this particular neighborhood for quite some time to get them to the point of becoming a full neighborhood association. So we congratulate them on the work that they've done together. Um, the Valrath Park neighborhood is conducting a history walk on Saturday. They'll be meeting at the First Congregational Church at 9 a.m. Uh, if anyone's interested, uh, you can just meet them and join the history walk. And we have some guests in the chambers tonight. Uh, Sharon Abel's civics class from LTC is with us. So we welcome all the students here. And then after the meeting, we'll be meeting in the, uh, the third floor conference room at the end of the hall so that uh, we, you can ask any questions and um, help you with your understanding of our meeting. And uh, just a reminder for everyone, next Monday we're going to have a committee of the whole meeting uh, to deal with the budget adjustments that were approved at the different committees, and that'll be at 6 p.m. next Monday. Okay, then we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.3 through 2.5. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> Alderperson Lewandowski? Aye. Thank you. Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 3.1 will lie over. Items 3.2 through 3.15 will all be referred to various committees. And then next uh, is resolutions. Resolution 4.1 is resolution number 77 of 1718 by Alderperson Wolf and Drawn, authorizing retaining outside legal counsel to represent the city in the matter of the town of Wilson versus the city of Sheboygan and authorizing a payment for said services. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to suspend and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there any objection to suspension? Why are we suspending? City so we can get started immediately. There's okay. Only a limited amount of time before we have to file an answer and those kinds of things. Thank you. Is there any uh, objection to suspension? Was that Alderperson Sorensen? No objection. Okay. And um, so then the motion is on the floor for discussion. Alderperson Sorensen? Yes, I, I have a question. What number was that? Yes, for, yeah, for this, so it would, now I, I remember in our, our annexation agreement that the core company agreed to pay up to um, $200,000, yeah, $200,000. Um, do we have an estimation w with this retaining outside legal counsel what that cost would be right now off the bat? Do we have a ballpark or anything like that? No. City attorney? Not at this point. Okay. Too early. Uh, Alderperson Bourne is next. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I want to amend the document as follows. Uh, <coughs> amend the resolution to have the city attorney's office advise the finance and personnel committee quarterly on the funds expended on this lawsuit. Thank you for that amendment. And we have a second? Second. Okay. The amendment is on the floor then for discussion. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 
every month? Uh, every quarter. Every quarter? Okay. And who seconded the motion? Thank you. For inflation. Yes, ma'am. Alderperson Lewandowski. Aye. Thank you. We're voting as, as amended, right? Or yes. Just We're just voting on the amendment. Just on the amendment. Just okay. the amendment. Okay. All right. This will keep. Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Uh, now we'll be uh, considering the main motion as amended. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please? I'm sorry, Alderperson Nelson. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I was, just, I was just curious how my mic works. No, I was just curious about uh, the uh, firm that was uh, uh, that is going to be uh, uh, defending us. Uh, I don't know anything about them. I, not that I know every attorney firm in Wisconsin, but I was just curious as to the rationale of this particular firm. Um, the bona fides are they used to doing this kind of work, that sort of thing. And ask the city attorney to inform us? Sure. First of all, uh, as to attorney Riffle himself, he is an expert on taxation law. Uh, and has uh, written uh, treatises even on annexation law, has defended a number of communities. The firm, uh, Aaron's Malter, Macy, Riffle, and Larson, uh, is um, perhaps could be considered um, one of the most respected municipal law firms uh, in the state. Uh, they do a great deal of uh, work, especially for outside council work for smaller communities uh, in the Milwaukee area and west. Um, they, the attorneys from that firm regularly uh, present at our annual uh, conference, and in fact, they recently hired away from another one of the probably more well-known firms, uh, their expert on municipal law as well. Um, so uh, I took a look at a, a number of different uh, possibilities, and there were some other good attorneys out there, but uh, uh, between the fact that they were closer than some of the others we looked at uh, and uh, the expertise, uh, I'm very confident that we're getting about as good a, a lawyer as you can possibly get in this area. Um, Alderperson uh, Bellinger. Thank you. Uh, Attorney Adams, <coughs> you have a law degree. Could you tell the, uh, the body here why we need to go out for outside counsel on this? Because it's going to be uh, likely uh, going to expend a lot of hours and a lot of time on this. Um, at this point, I'm not even able to keep up with the regular work. Uh, if I were to do the annexation in-house, um, we would not get any other legal work done for the next several months. Thank you. Uh, next is Alderperson Holshu. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just have, just want some clarity. It says in this resolution that an <clears throat> authorizing payment for said services. So do we pay first and, and Kohler reimburses us? Is this how it works? Exactly. Thank you. Alderperson Sorensen. I, got, I have a question re regarding the timeline of this process. What, what are the next steps? I've been having a few constituents ask, um, you know, whether this has been assigned a judge yet and what- It has been assigned a judge. In fact, it was originally signed to Judge Persick. Uh, she uh, recused herself. It has now gone to Judge Borowski. Um, a, uh, a complaint or a sum or um, answer to the complaint has already been uh, filed. Uh, and there is next week already a hearing uh, on uh, one of uh, the requests of the town. So what, what, what you said it was next week. Is there a specific date for that? Uh, Tuesday. Okay. Do you know the time? It's in the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't remember off the top of my head, okay. but Tuesday afternoon there is a hearing on the order to show cause. All right. Thanks. Uh, any other discussion? Uh, Alderperson Bellinger. Why did um, Judge Persick recuse herself? Uh, I don't know, and I don't know that we'll ever know. Um, so she, you don't have to state why you're recusing yourself? No. A, a judge does not have to if she feels that 
there's a requirement for her to uh, recuse herself, she can do that. Thank you. Okay, seeing no more lights, would the clerk please call the roll for passage as amended? Other person, Lee Wendowski. I'm voting aye. Thank you. <clears throat> 14 ayes. Motion passes. Item 4.2 is resolution number 78 of 1718 by Alder Person Wolf and Drawn, authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a conflict waiver letter prepared by Quarles and Brady LLP regarding the representation of the city of Sheboygan and Wisconsin Public Service Corporation. Alder Person Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to suspend and pass resolution. Second. I would also ask that we get a little description of, for the uh, the council to understand it better I can do that first of all uh, the reason that we're again asking for suspension on this is just simply uh, for timing uh, Quarles and Brady and attorney uh, spec card who do uh, work for us related uh, uh, to uh, bond and financing matter uh, will be uh, representing uh, Wisconsin Public Service on items unrelated to their representation of the city uh, I need to get started on that. Um, it is required when there's at least a potential conflict uh, that uh, they get that waiver here. In this particular case, uh, having uh, reviewed um, the type of representation that uh, Quarles and Brady gives to us and that they will be giving to Wisconsin Public Service, I don't believe that there will be any actual conflict. Uh, additionally, this is a, a fairly standard uh, practice um, where there's not going to be any sort of negative repercussions to the city, and frankly, there may be potentially in the future positive. Okay, any other, other uh, objections to suspension? Seeing none, the motion is on the floor. Any discussion on the motion? With no discussion, I'd ask the clerk to please call the roll. Alder Person Lewandowski. Aye. Thank you. Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Uh, items 4.3 and 4.4 .4 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, Item 5.1 is RC number 137 of 1718 by Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was re who reviewed the 30% design development phase of the City Hall renovations and recommends that the Common Council accept the Bray and Architects design and program budget and advance the project to the next development phase. Alderperson Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Lewandowski. Aye. Thank you. Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 136 of 1718 by the Public Works Committee to whom re was re reviewed the 30% design development phase of City Hall and renovations and recommends that the Common Council accept the Bray and Architects design and program budget and advance the project to the next development phase. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt. Second. Thank you for your motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Will the clerk please call the roll? Alder person Lewandowski. Aye. Thank you. Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. 
Item 5.3 is RC number 134 of 1718 by the Law and Licensing Committee to whom is referred RO number 158 of 1718 by the City Clerk submitting license applications and recommends denying beverage operators license number 1846 Gina Crow based upon her ineligibility for a license and her failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderperson Holshue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is by any chance Gina Crow here? Um, you, have, you have an opportunity to come up to the podium. <coughs> Gina wasn't right up, right up there. Gina was invited to our committee and did not make an appearance. So we'd like to hear. Welcome. I'm sorry, I was, um, I thought it was on the 30th and I didn't realize that wasn't Saturday until Friday. <laughs> on that, I'd like to make a motion to refer this back to law and licensing. Second. Thank you for that motion and, and support to refer it back to law and licensing. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Very good, thank you, you can step down then. We won't be sending you another notice um, because we've already expended enough funds on doing that, so just make sure you're there. Next, we'll move on to matters laid over. Item 6.1 is resolution number 74 of 1718 by Alderperson Donahue and Boren authorizing establishing an appropriation in the 2017 budget for grant funds received in the police and fire departments. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Lewandowski. Aye. Thank you. 12 ayes, 2 noes. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is resolution number 62 of 1718 by Alderperson Donahue and Boren authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2017 budget for contracted services for an operational consulting and departmental structure of the uh, Sheboygan Fire Department. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion? Hearing no discussion, Alderperson Bellinger. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank this body for uh, uh, holding this until this week. I was able to uh, attend uh, the last council meeting, so I greatly appreciate you uh, <coughs> doing that for me. Um, it's unfortunate that we have a couple older people, persons that are not in attendance this evening, but uh, we will move forward and vote on this and, and see what happens. Um, during uh, the, the discussions, uh, I've run across numerous objections why people do not want to vote for this. And I would just like to go through some of those. Uh, I've got an email from one of the aldermen that said uh, he didn't like the process of this, the way this was done. Well, the way this was done was before I brought anything forward, I went to the city administrator, I went to the fire chief, and I went to the union and asked if they were in favor of such a study. They all were unanimously in favor of the study. From that point on, uh, I worked with the city administrator, the fire chief, and the union to put together a scope of work that would be included in the RFP. Um, they all signed off on that. They all added their own input, and we all agreed that this would be the scope of work, and this is what would go out for RFP. So to say that um, you, you don't like the process and how this is being done, um, I don't know how it can be any more um, upright and forthright. I did not you know, bring this up uh, without getting the city administrator or the fire chief or the union involved. I went to them before I ever did anything and got them involved, got their buy-in, and, and came forward with this. Um, this another um, objection I've heard is, 
Well, we don't follow any study recommendations. We do all these studies. We, why, why are we going to spend the money on a study? Because we never do what, we, what we're told anyway. You know, so, but uh, we just did a study for the Southside Industrial Park, and I believe this entire body adopted that recommendation from that study. Um, I think we had a, um, a, a wastewater treatment study done, and I think we unanimously voted to accept the recommendation for that as well. So that's a false narrative too. So to say that we don't, you know, follow through and 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 do what the studies, you know, present themselves to us, you know, that's just, you know, completely not true and false. And then I've heard another argument that says that by voting for this, we're authorizing studies of all departments, or that the new aldermen think that, you know, every department's going to have a study now and do this. Well, that's just a completely ridiculous narrative as well. Each study is going to be based on its own merits. If other departments require studies or some other alderman thinks there should be a study, by all means, please bring it forward and, and have the you know, similar buy-in for what I got on this study and see if we can get it passed and if it makes sense, and uh, we, would, we would pass it. This does not open the door unilaterally for every department to go under a study by passing this. And then another argument was I'm targeting the fire department. Absolutely, I'm targeting the fire department. That's what a study does. A study is specific to a department or an area, and we're going to look at the fire department. We've done studies for the Southside Industrial Park. That was for the city development. We've done study for the parking study. And that was for the transit. We did an A Street master plan. You know, that was for city development. And the wastewater treatment plant, the co-digestion evaluation, <clears throat> that was for public works. All different parts of the city departments have had studies done. In the past, we've done a study for the police department. So to say that, you know, that, that I've got a vendetta or something against the fire department is ridiculous. Um, I support the fire department. Uh, I, I, I greatly appreciate the work and the service that they provide. I just want to make sure that we get all the data we can. And I think the data that would come forth in this study would be invaluable and would more than um, pay for itself for, for the cost of the study. And uh, then the other argument I've heard is that we pay our directors and our chiefs a great deal of money. They should be subject matter experts, and whatever they come forth, we should just pass it and go with it, their recommendations. And, you know, that's, that's another argument that I've heard. Well, we just passed, in essence, a consultant to come in for Attorney Adams and, and have outside counsel because he does not have the time or the expertise in annexation to be able to do this. And that was unanimous. Everybody here voted in favor of it. I didn't hear anybody say, you know what, you're targeting, you know, you're targeting the, uh, the attorney's office. I didn't hear the, Mr. Adams say, you know what, I'm not in favor of this, I object to this. In all the other studies that we've done, I haven't had, you know, uh, Chad Pelichek hasn't objected to the studies that were related to his department. David Beeble hasn't, you know, objected to the studies that were related to his department. Uh, Derek in transit, you know, he was in favor of that study as well. Nobody has objected. You know, so, uh, you know, I don't get where, where that argument comes forth either. So I, I've put a great deal of work into this. I think it's going to be invaluable, as I mentioned, to the city. The data that's going to come forth in this is going to lead us for years to come in making critical decisions as it relates to um, how the fire department is funded, at what levels, how it's staffed, uh, what other grants and other uh, revenue opportunities that are out there, what other regional cooperation there might be, uh, the actual um, uh, accounting of the, of the ambulance service, if that's being done correctly. Um, if there's other ways that we can increase the revenue stream and the, um, the, 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 the uh, reimbursement that we're getting from the, the ambulance service. So there's, there's all things. It's a very comprehensive study, and I, I would really urge everyone to look past um, you know, their, their, their objections that they've had because I think I've addressed them all. And, and treat this like any other study that has come before us and, and, with the, and, and, and view it in, that, in those terms. So with that, I would recommend that uh, this gets passed. So thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderperson Holshue. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just have a couple quick questions. Where is the funding to pay for this study coming from? And then I have a follow-up. Is this coming from a City contingency fund? Uh, this is coming from the general fund contingency account. And does a contingency account, is that used mostly for studies or is that for emergencies? It's for unanticipated uh, items that were not discussed uh, basically 12 months ago. And do we not, in our new budget, each department doesn't have like a contingency anymore. We're just having one contingency for emergency purposes, correct? That is correct. Well, I'm going to continue to stand forward in um, voting no on this study, and I hope my fellow aldermans will as well. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Is there any other discussion? Uh, Alderperson Sorensen. Um, excuse me. I got a, a few questions as well. Um, this, this still needs two-thirds vote, correct, of the council? Correct. Now, what if it does not get two-thirds vote? We voted for, a majority of the council voted for the study to pass, but now it doesn't have the appropriations or the funds to move forward. So what do we do in that situation? Well, until there's funds approved, we're not taking any action. Okay. Thank you. Alderperson Nelson. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Since our last meeting, I had a chance to... Uh, to uh, discuss this proposal with uh, uh, some firemen actually retired from in that, that I do know and uh, <clears throat> put it to him bluntly, what, is, is it pointless or is, there, is it good to have this study? And uh, the uh, fire people I talked to basically said, a fresh pair of eyes can't hurt, we can get some uh, possible good data out of it and uh, uh, so that's why I'm gonna vote for it. If the firemen are for it, I'm for it. Thank you for your comments. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <coughs> Alderperson Lewandowski? No. Thank you. Nine yeas, five noes. Motion fails. Next, we'll move on to other matters received after the agenda was published. City Attorney. 7.1 is a resolution directing a public hearing to be held in connection with a change of the city's official zoning map for property located at 3530 Lower Falls Road. That'll lie over. 7.2 is an ordinance amending the City of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of property located at 3530 Lower Falls Road from Class PPUD pre-planned unit development to Class JMKAC PUD planned unit development classification. That would be referred to the City Planning Commission. 7.3 is an RO by the city clerk submitting an application from Sean Mather of Trace Birds Workshop, owner of Property Creation and Preservation Partners, Inc., for a change in the zoning classification of property located at 3530 Lower Falls Road from Class PPUD pre-planned pre unit development to Class JM KAC PUD planned unit development classification. We referred to the City Planning Commission. 7.4 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2017, June 30th, 2018, and June 30th, 2019. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight.